what's up playboys in this video i want to talk to you about women faking a connection with you i think this is a subject that is not talked about a lot i want to make it a short video and i want to make it an informative video so that you can learn more about female nature i think the more that you know about female nature the more that you accept female nature the more that you understand female nature the easier time you're gonna have to deal with women okay because if you're a guy who's going out dating women putting yourself out there going on dates maybe you know going home with girls from bars and clubs and so on and so forth you need to have a deeper understanding about how they work and so that you can navigate with the different situations that come up in your life okay and so women do fake connections okay and so i was on a tinder date very recently uh, actually last week okay and we talked about sex and life and fun and i had a genuine good time with that girl but we talked about you know having sex without a connection uh, you know one night stands we talked about all sorts of things th throughout our date we were drinking a lot of beer the juices were flowing we had a great time together okay and one of the things that she said really stood out in my mind okay and i'll give you the direct translation of what she said instead of saying it word by word okay so she didn't exactly phrase it like the way that i'm gonna tell it to you now but this is me reading between the lines and understanding what she actually wanted to say and so she basically said and here's what i understood that when girls really want to sleep with a guy or they really want to get fucked or they're really dtf they will sort of position themselves in the moment in a way like they really like what you're saying they really like the moment like from a male perspective in the moment you're not going to be able to tell the difference the girl might be touching you the girl might be looking you deep in the eyes the girl might be like really engaging in the conversation okay meanwhile inside she's just playing a role this is what we talked about she said that she's sometimes just playing a role okay and a lot of women do this especially when they're down when they want to smash when they find you attractive whether it's through your character qualities your behaviors or you know like how you present yourself or your overall being your existence they find you irresistible or they find you desirable okay and so many of them they're gonna fake a connection with you in the moment they're gonna position themselves they're gonna play a role so that they become more appealing to you so that you can um get enough motivation to actually bang them does that make sense guys and so if you're on a date with a girl and everything is going great and she's agreeing with everything and she's like smiling and 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 and, and you know you you're hitting her with a joke she's hitting you with a joke back like you feel like oh this girl can really keep up in conversation our banter is top notch our eye contact is right there i feel like we're on the same level what are you going to do as a man you're going to do the necessary steps that you have to take because you're motivated in the moment to bang her and so you're gonna say let's get out of here or let's go back to my place etc etc and then obviously you guys are gonna bang and for a lot of guys sometimes they hook up with girls and and, and they'll be like wow she was so into me or maybe they'll have a conversation um with a girl in a nightclub in a bar or on the street even and they'll talk like five minutes seven minutes eight minutes nine minutes 25 minutes and they'll be like what dude she was so into me she really wanted it oh i met this girl we had an amazing time together we're so connected little did they know that she positioned herself in the moment in a favorable way so that you could take things forward with her many of those girls that you believe that you have a strong connection with in the moment they're actually as unpolitically correct as it is to say they're actually dtf they're down to fuck and they do actually want you to take steps to hook up with them then and there whether you met them in a park whether you met them at a fucking bus stop 
whether you met them in a bar, whether you met them in a party. So it's not that you have a genuine connection for real. It's more like you're both kind of positioned in the moment in a way where it's enjoyable and things are flowing, okay? And so how can you tell the difference between a momentary fling, which you should, if you want, move it further to the bedroom? And how can you tell the difference between that and a girl that genuinely likes you, that's not faking a connection with you to sort of get sex or to get more attention or affection or validation from you, okay? Here's the key difference, okay? The key difference is patience. You need to give it a little time, okay? So if you meet a girl tonight, okay, you need to at least give it two to three weeks to sort of see her behavior over time, okay? And the women that you have genuine connections with, or at least from her side, where she feels she has a genuine connection with you, the viewer, or me, the, the speaker, okay? They do take action, okay? And so those are the women who are consistently texting, consistently showing up to meetings, even suggesting meetings, and just like wanting to be around you and not just wanting it as a mental idea or an emotional uh, feeling they have, but they're actually taking action, okay? It's sort of like the guy that owes you money that always says he's gonna pay, but it's been like three years and he never paid, okay? And so with some patience, you can see a person's behavior across time. Does that make sense, guys? And so, of course, you don't wanna, you know, give some random girl unlimited patience and limited time, but let's say, I don't know, I'll make up some random scenario. Let's say you bring home a girl uh, tonight from a bar. You bang her, you had a great time, you're like, oh my God, this girl and me, we're so connected, okay? Four or five days later, you text her, she doesn't respond, okay? You wait another week, she never said anything, so that's two weeks, right? You text her once, she never said anything, uh, you know, and it's gone two weeks, brother, she's not interested, okay? You meet a girl, you go on a first date, okay? You have a great date, you're kissing, you're fooling around, but you didn't have sex, you didn't sleep together, and she's like, oh my God, I had such a great time with you, I hope to see you again soon. Okay, you wait a couple days, you, you, you look, you start a conversation, look to set up a new date. She doesn't respond or she's barely responding or she's indefinitely busy. Oh, I can't this week, but how about next week or in two weeks or let me get back to you. I'm going to check my schedule. Brother, she's not interested, okay? A woman that is interested in you, it's not like she will go above and beyond to be with you. It's not like she's going to abandon her whole life like some of these dating coaches say, but she's gonna make a big effort to reciprocate, okay? And so, for example, if you invite her out tonight and she can't come out tonight, she's gonna say, I really, I want to, but I can't because of X, Y, Z. How about tomorrow evening, okay? She's gonna say, tomorrow. She's gonna say, tomorrow I can't, but how about I come over on Monday? Or how about we grab drinks on Monday? How about, and you know, let's say Monday's like, two days in the, into the future, okay? She's not she's, she's not gonna take an insane amount of time to respond. She's gonna be frequently responding and she's gonna say yes often to you, okay? As easy as I can put it. She won't say yes 100%. I had, for example, girlfriends that did say yes 100% of everything I ever said from the moment we met, but I think that's rare. But a woman that's generally interested in you and has a genuine connection with you, you can safely say that 80% of the time, she's gonna take action towards you. Not the kind of action where she's like, I miss you, I miss you, and then she never shows up. The kind of action where like, you're meeting on a weekly basis or very often or regularly, you're communicating regularly, and just like, it's it just going forward. She, and she's a participant, you know, they say, it takes two to dance a tango, okay? And so she's your actual partner in the tango that is your romance, if that makes sense, guys. That's a beautiful way to put it, if I may say so myself. And so, coming back full circle, a lot of guys, especially the newer guys and the guys who are intermediate, who are not that experienced with women, they're kind of in this like sort of movie 
mindset where they'll go to a bar, they go to a club or they go down to the beach or park and they start conversations with girls and girls are like so into them in the moment. Girls are, you know, responding back. They they have enthusiasm. They're like, oh my God, wow, it's so nice to meet you. Da, 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 da. And they're like really investing in the conversation. And many of you guys don't understand that these are like sex cues, sex signals. And it takes you quite a while to really understand because you'll meet like Jenny, you'll meet Amanda, you'll meet Jessica, you'll meet all these girls. And you're like, oh my God, I had so like a 25 minute great conversation with her, 45 minute with her, 35 minute with her. I took all their numbers and now I'm texting them and they're not responding. Like how can they show so much interest? And it wasn't that they were genuinely interested in you. It was that you approached like a man and you hit the right spot, okay, the, in the moment, okay, uh, you know, uh, metaphorically, okay, you hit the right spot in the moment, and they're kind of like aroused by you, they're, they're kind of like stimulated by you, and what they actually want for you is be like, come on, let's have drinks right now, come on, let's go to this bar over there right now, come with me, have a coffee right now, and they maybe want you to insist a little bit in, in case they're I don't know, I have to work tomorrow. And you're like, come on, Jenny, it's me, you, baby, let's go. And maybe you grab her hand and you gently lead her towards the bar or you gently lead her towards your apartment or whatever, right? And so you're gonna see many of them when you start like nudging it towards the bedroom, they're gonna be like, all right, fine. Yeah, I'll come along. Like they didn't even, uh, like they didn't even want it in the first place. Or some of them are gonna be like, all right, I'm down for drinks. Let's go. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Oh, you want to kiss? Yeah. Oh, you want to go back to your house? Yeah. Oh, you want to smash? Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, if I meet a woman and it's just flowing, I'm not thinking in my head, oh my God, we have a connection. I'm like, gotta move it forward. Let, let's, let's take it to the next level. And I bring it back towards my bedroom. And when do I think that we have a genuine connection, which is the mindset that I want to give you, it's when we both are showing continued effort towards each other to progress in the meetings, okay? So we met today, either me or her are texting, like in the next few days, trying to set up a new meeting. And the other person is coming along or at least giving a, an amazing alternative for the next day or the following day. And then boom, you have the second meeting, moves from the second to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth, to the sixth, to the seventh, eighth. That's a person you actually have a genuine connection with because it's really difficult to be honest. If you think a moment, take a moment to think about it, to be meeting a woman frequently. And even from a woman's position, it's difficult to meet a man frequently whom she doesn't feel connected to or whom you don't feel connected to. You're just going to be like, kind of like wanting to kill yourself, you know? Like, it's just like, you're with this chick, you don't like anything she says, the sex is kind of okay. Of course, you're not going to want to see her again. And it's the same from her perspective as well. And so don't buy into this false connection in the moment. That's not a connection. That's you, you guys having, let's say, uh, amazing or cool or interesting chemistry in the moment. It's a momentary thing. And when you do have those momentary, ooh, wow, okay, with, with a girl that she, you can see, she's going, oh, okay, wow. That's actually a signal for you to progress it towards the bedroom. So, you know, that's a nice time for you to kiss her. Tell her, let's leave the bar. Lead her back to your place. Or if you met her in a park or something, let's go to the bar near my house. Have a few drinks, boom, go to back to your house. Or you can bring her back directly to your house. Whatever, you gotta find your own way, okay? And so that's all I wanted to say on the false connection. I think this is an interesting subject. I have never seen anybody talk about it on YouTube. I talk about it because I've seen it a lot in the field and I've also heard women that I'm hooking up with or had hooked up with in the past mention it. And I think it's an interesting subject. Again, I just wanna share it with you today. If you like this video, like the goddamn video, comment down below, let me know what you learned and I'll see y'all, my playboys, in the next video, peace.